scared cause he know he ain't leaving me Swim shit, my face is him and y'all little hoes ain't seeing me I don't even check but I walk on every beat So here on my desk, I have a few things for you guys. Um, the title of the video is how to properly prep your nails for a service. So I'm going to go through the materials that you're going to need to be able to prep nails for an acrylic service. So the first thing that I have here is some isopropyl alcohol in a pump container. This is 70% isopropyl alcohol. I have a nail brush. I like to use the nail brush to dust the nails and the fingers to make sure that there's no debris on the nails i have a nail buffer and you can use any buffer that you like it just depends on preference i have a 180 grit buffer which is 100 on one side and 80 on the other um, 80 is going to be the grittier side and the 100 is going to be the smoother side i have a manicure nail file a cuticle pusher and you can use any cuticle pusher that you like um, at the moment this is what I have so this is the one that I'm going to be using for this video um, I use young nails protein bond but you can honestly use any type of dehydrator or primer that you like it doesn't necessarily need to be this one I just prefer their primer I have some sanding bands so when I buff the natural nail i don't use any grit lower or higher than like 180 because what you want to do to the nail is remove the shine of the nail we do not want to damage that natural nail so here's just a couple of examples of the sanding bands that i'm going to be using and then i have a mandrel bit and this is the bit that you use to apply these sanding bands here I just have a cordless nail drill or e-drill or nail file, however you like to call it. Um, I'm using a cordless today for this video. It's just more convenient at the moment. The first thing that I'm going to do for this nail is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start pushing back that cuticle. And you're going to see how once you start pushing back the dead skin, it's going to show more of the nail plate. And I like to go in and go all around. That and this is what the cuticle should look like once it's completely pushed back. Now, for this video, I'm going to use the drill first. So I'm going to be using a 180 buffer. And the reason why I'm using a 180 is because all you want to do is remove the shine of the nail. You don't want to peel off layers of the natural nail and you don't want to cause harm to that person's natural nail. So, so what you want to do is you want to go from side to side lifting the bit. You never want to go back and forth on the nail. Going back and forth is going to open and close the pores of the nail. So you're not going to have a good... Well, the product isn't going to adhere well. So what you want to do is just go in one direction. Always going in one direction and lifting your bit. Doing this also allows air to go underneath the bit so that it doesn't heat up for the client. And then you can go ahead and go around that cuticle area. I'm going to turn my hand around a bit so you can see a little bit better. So you just want to go in one direction and you just want to make sure that you're just removing the shine of the nail. Nothing more. You don't have to apply any pressure, just a light feathering motion. And you're going to go ahead and do that to all of the fingers. And you're always going to go in one direction to make sure that you get the best, um, what's the word, so that the product adheres properly. And there you go. The nail is no longer And shiny. there you have it, a perfectly prepped nail ready for any nail service. Thank it's you so nice much for watching and, and stay tuned for part three. There's no damage to the natural nail.